Hello guys, I'm Yasser Ali. To continue our discussion about fundamentals of petroleum engineering, here in this tutorial we will discuss source of subsurface pressure. So we will understand this topic that is source of subsurface pressure with a very interesting fact and that fact is that we know that in our domestic water wells as we can see in this diagram see this is a water well you have seen uh, in your home or somewhere else then this is also a water well or water bore so to produce this water from the subsurface or to extract this water from the subsurface we need to provide energy with the help of some pump here we have this water pump or water well this water pump provides the energy to bring this water from the subsurface to the surface. Similarly, here we have another example. Here we have an electric motor which is providing drive to this pump. And then this pump is sucking the water from the subsurface or underground to the surface. So, summary is that usually you have seen that to produce the water or to bring the water from the subsurface to the surface we have to provide the energy in the form of some pump uh, which may be driven by some electrical motor or this is a hand driven pump but opposite to this one in case of oil and gas it does not come only by itself but it have a huge energy that if we do not control it it will cause a catastrophic incident here to produce the oil from the subsurface we need to provide the energy but in case of oil and gas it does not only come to surface by itself but also we need to use some heavy duty machinery to handle produce it in controlled manner what does it mean it means that oil and gas have a huge energy a huge pressure in it in case of water we have to provide the energy but in case of oil and gas it already have some energy that it comes to the surface by itself and it does not only come to the surface by itself rather we need to control it because if we will not control it it will cause a huge incident we call it blowout and to, to control the pressure of this fluid we need heavy duty equipment called blowout preventers now here the question arises that what is the source of this pressure that from where the pressure comes in the oil and gas which oil and gas which is present in underground from where this pressure comes so we will study that source that from where the pressure comes in oil and gas so there are two main sources of pressure of oil and gas or subsurface pressure these two sources are hydrostatic pressure and the second one is overburden pressure so any reservoir any oil and gas reservoir underground can have pressure due to two reasons either one reason or both of the reason either it could be due to hydrostatic pressure either it could be due to overburden pressure or it could be due to both of these phenomena that is hydrostatic pressure and the overburden pressure now we'll see the hydrostatic pressure as a source of subsurface pressure we have already discussed in detail about hydrostatic pressure that what is hydrostatic pressure you can see the link on of uh, that tutorial where we will discuss hydrostatic pressure now we will just uh, have a brief recap of hydrostatic pressure and then we will come to our main topic that how this hydrostatic pressure is a source of subsurface pressure so we discussed we studied that hydrostatic pressure is basically the pressure due to pressure exerted by a column of fluid is called hydrostatic pressure that is here we have a water column or fluid column which is stationary then this water column exert a force at the bottom and then this force is actually exerting the pressure at the bottom this pressure due to the stationary water column or fluid column is called hydrostatic pressure and the formula to calculate hydrostatic pressure is 0 0.052 into density into height in this formula density is in ppg and height is in feet and the pressure we will get it will be in psi we have already discussed in much more detail already and the link is uh, you can see on the uh, for this tutorial also we have seen that the hydrostatic pressure depends upon only on two things that is the density of the fluid or the nature of the fluid and then the height it does not depend upon the shape 
okay so it only depends upon the height more the height more the hydrostatic pressure more the density more the hydrostatic pressure so this was the concept of hydrostatic pressure now we'll see that how this hydrostatic pressure is exerting acting as a source of subsurface pressure so to understand this one here we need to understand to understand hydrostatic pressure as source of subsurface pressure recall that position environment during understanding of origin of petroleum we see or we discussed the deposition environment that uh, in the marine environment sediments deposit on the organic material and then ultimately this organic material gets converted into oil and gas so just imagine this is a depositional environment here this sediments or sand particles are depositing at the seabed okay so here is the water layer water layer in the sea so these particles are settling so once these particles settle this water will come out but still there will be the contact in the water when there will be more deposition more particles will come further water will come out but still this water will have contact with each other so ultimately this contact of water will act as a column of fluid okay so here you can see that this water is con interconnected from here to here to here and till the bottom so this water is actually equivalent to a fluid column okay which exerts pressure at the bottom so the pressure due to this water column which is basically hydrostatic pressure actually exerts the pressure or act as a formation pressure as a source of pressure now we can see that layers come over and over sediments get closer packed water is expelled out however unless there is complete barrier in the path of water it have contact to the surface water and behaves as water column and exert pressure at the bottom we have already seen that when the deposition continues even then if there is not complete barrier this water will exert still as a complete fluid column and then will exert pressure at the bottom this pressure will result in the form of subsurface pressure or pore pressure it results in subsurface pressure if pressure is only due to hydrostatic pressure it is called normal pore pressure the other name of subsurface pressure or fluid pressure is pore pressure and if it is only due to hydrostatic pressure we call it a normal pore pressure so up till now we have discussed that how the hydrostatic pressure is acting as a source of pore pressure now there is a second source that is overburden pressure we will discuss this overburden pressure in our separate tutorial to keep the discussion simple and easy to understand so up till now that is uh, that was our discussion about source of subsurface pressure i hope that you got understanding thank you very much see you in the next tutorial